Hey everyone, Upstart holding stock has put investors on a roller coaster ride over the last few years, exploding as high as over $360 per share before falling to the current $35 share as of this recording. So investors are asking, is it finally time to buy Upstart stock or where could Upstart stock be in 2024? So I'm going to try and help inform investors by highlighting where I think Upstart stock could be by the end of this year. I'm going to use some estimates and assumptions to come to this conclusion. And I'll share with you where I'm getting these estimates and assumptions so you can make your own estimates as to if the prediction is too optimistic or too pessimistic. All right, so let's get right into this interesting analysis. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, as I mentioned, Upstart Holdings, look at this stock price chart. Man, That this must be a roller coaster ride to be sure. Look at this rise up to over $360 per share and then the big crash down. And then it's gotten a little bit of a lift as of late, but it's still way below those highs reached in late 2021. And unlike some other stocks that exploded during this time, this was the time, remember, with the enthusiasm for EV stocks and anything EV related was just shooting higher and the valuations exploded. Upstart was one of those that I felt the valuation increase was more justified because the business was doing so well revenue was exploding higher so was profitability it was using ai to make lending decisions and it was proving to be effective and you can understand why investors were enthusiastic about the stock it had the fundamentals to back it up before things turned around so Things have changed. The company has not been profitable. It's heading there, but it hasn't been in recent quarters. And so now there's a different story. The riskiness has increased and lenders are questioning whether or not this AI infused lending model is indeed more effective. So let's let's look at some more estimates here. So this is one of the estimates we're going to use or one of the numbers we're going to use is the current stock price. We're also going to use Upstart's price to earnings ratio. The price to earnings ratio is an important financial metric I use to determine which stock is more expensive or if a stock is too expensive. Let me show you this example here. I have two stocks, one trading at a market price of $100 and one trading at a market price of $12. The one trading at a market price of $100 has an earnings per share of $2.58, while the other has an earnings per share of just $0.11. Cents. When we look at their price to earnings ratio, the one trading at a market price of $100 is trading at a price to earnings of $38.76, while the one trading at a market price of $12 is trading at a price to earnings of $114. So in this example, the one trading at a market price of 12 is actually more expensive because I'm tr I'm paying 114 times earnings to purchase this stock. That means if the company was to pay me earnings per share every year as a dividend, it would take 114 years for me to receive my money back. Whereas the other stock, it would pay me back in 38.76 years. Now there's a lot more to think about in this equation, but to simplify, that's an example that shows you why a company with a market price higher can actually be cheaper than a company with a market price that's lower. That being said, you can see Upstart's price to earnings forward ratio is 52.55 near the lowest you've been able to buy this stock going back roughly a year. So we're gonna use this 52.55 number. We are also going to use Upstart's earnings per share estimate for fiscal year 2025, which is this figure here at 42 cents. The Wall Street analysts that follow Upstart stock estimate that it's going to deliver 42 cents in earnings per share in 2025 and when you're using the forward price to earnings ratio you need to get the 
earnings per share estimate for one year ahead. And so we're trying to predict the stock price for 2024. So we need the earnings per share estimate for 2025. That's what we have here at 42 cents. So when I take you to my model for predicting the stock price, this 42 cents is coming directly from that estimate from Wall Street analysts. Then this PE forward ratio of 52.5 is coming directly from the current valuation right now stock price is trading at a forward PE of 52.55. So given that forward price to earnings ratio of 52.5 and the earnings per share of 42 cents, if things were to go as planned or as expected, Upstart's stock price could be $22 per share by the end of 2024. Now, if you compare that to the current stock price of $35 per share, that would be a significantly lower price. So Upstart would need to outperform in order to have a stock price increase. And so even if we were to look at its PE forward valuation and we were to say, okay, instead of 52, let's say it's gonna trade at 75. Even at that 75 PE with the 42 cent earnings per share estimate, the stock price would be $31.50. Again, that would be below the $35.55 it's currently trading at. So even in that more bullish scenario, upstart stock price would be lower. Now, if we were to look at a more pessimistic scenario where the PE forward were to fall from 52 and a half to 40, that would mean the stock price would go down to $16.80. In the worst case scenario I have planned here, the PE forward would fall to 30 and the stock price would fall to $12.60. So in all of the scenarios we have here, the stock price would be lower at the end of 2024 versus where it is now. But let's test a scenario to see what would happen if the PE forward was to rise from 52 up to 100. That would mean the stock price would rise to $42 per share. So it would need to be significantly higher than where it's at now in order for upstart stock investors to experience an increase from where the stock price is at now. That suggests to me that upstart stock could be overvalued at this point in time. And if I was to make an estimate as to where I think upstart stock price will be by the end of 2024, I would suggest somewhere in the range of $27 to $30 per share. And that would be below the current stock price. So according to these estimates, if the company is to deliver or is on track to deliver this much earnings per share in 2025, that's where the valuation could be. Now, if Upstart was to outperform and beat expectations, that's what would cause the stock price to increase instead of decrease as these estimates suggest. Also, if there's more enthusiasm for upstart and the AI investment trend gets even hotter in 2024 and investors are willing to pay a premium valuation, a super premium valuation for upstart stock and it increases to a PE of 100, that could cause the stock price to rise to $42 per share. But each of these scenarios I think is less likely than the other scenario where I suggest the stock price could be between $27 and $30 per share. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you wanna see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.